When two waves interfere with one another, a phenomenon called constructive interference occurs. As shown in the image, more light appears where the crests of two waves meet. Constructive interference is modeled by the equation d sine theta equals m lambda, where d is the distance between slits, theta is the angle from the slit to the light fringe, m is the order of interference, and lambda is the wavelength. In order to prove the equation d sine theta equals m lambda, we first have to find theta. In order to do this, we measure the distance from m equals 1 and m equals 0. And we also measure the distance from the diffraction grating to the viewing screen. With this information, then we can then form a right triangle and find theta using the tangent. Using these measurements, we can now find lambda. We first form a right triangle with these two measurements. This is my odyssey. This is my This illusion. is our zeroth order fringe. And this I'm is our first order dream fringe. Of you and me. So At the zero order confusion. fringe, the light is most intense. At the one order fringe, it's slightly less. And truth be pure and free. I was born to find the light. As we measured earlier, the distance between the two points this is, is 4.2 seconds. And the distance from the diffraction grating to the viewing screen is 10 seconds. Using tangent, we then can find theta by taking the inverse tangent of 4.2 centimeters divided by 10 centimeters. After calculating theta, we find that the angle is 22.78 degrees. We then have to find D. The diffraction grating tells us that there are 600 lines for every 0 0.001. Therefore, there are one. 0.667 times 10 to the negative 6 meters between each slit. To find lambda, we can use the equation d sine theta divided by m. Which is transformed from the original equation we now have all the necessary calculations to find lambda. This is my odyssey. This is my illusion. I'm lost in a dream of you and me. So caught up in confusion. When will brothers stop the fight? When will our minds After calculating free? lambda for the red laser point, I was born to we find that it equals point zero 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 six four five meters. One meter is equivalent to 10 to the 9th nanometers. So we can then use this conversion to find the wavelength in nanometers by dividing 0 0.00000645 meters divided by 10 to the 9th. 
Our final result is 645 nanometers, which falls under the range of 640 to 750 nanometers for red light. For this calculation to be correct, both the concept of light moving as a wave and the equation d sine theta equals m lambda would have to be valid.